Hi everyone, it's Nicole Wilkins with Fitness RX for Women, and this is my next question and answer segment where I took your questions from Facebook and I'm gonna answer them for you today. The first question I have is what is the best twist motion ab exercise to bring in your waist so your stomach doesn't look blocky? Um, as far as twist motions, anything where you're laying back and you're, you have a resistance ball or some type of weight and you're twisting from side to side, where you're in like a half sit up, you could even lift your feet up to make it more challenging. One thing that I would avoid is holding onto a, a weight and then doing weighted side bends this way because that's that could build up thickness in your obliques, which will give you the illusion of uh, block your waist. However, it doesn't, genetics play a huge role in how wide or how small your waist is. And also, how much body fat you have. So you can do as many ab exercises as you want to, but you're never gonna have this felt lean waist that you're looking for if you don't have, uh, if you don't decrease your body fat. How much cardio is recommended for fat burning without eating up hard earned muscle gains? I would say a minimum would be three to four days of 30 minutes of cardio, but you can do an hour of cardio a day if you want to, as long as you're eating enough. I mean, if you've seen, I've seen marathon runners who do miles and miles and are overweight. So if you're eating enough food, it can supplement your training and prevent you from losing too much muscle or too much weight too fast. Or So you can manipulate your diet as well. But I would say a good start, a minimum amount of cardio would be three to four days of 30 minutes. I have a busy schedule. Some weeks I only get to work out two or three days, and then some weeks five or six, like I would really like to. How is this affecting me? The obvious effect, I feel, is muscle weakness, so it is almost like I'm starting over when I feel this way. I want muscle growth, but I also feel like I'm getting nowhere because of my schedule. The hardest part about muscle growth or losing weight is consistency. You can do really well for a week or two weeks, but to be consistent for months at a time is when you're really going to see the progress that you're looking for. If you're looking to build muscle, it takes a long time and it takes a lot of hard work consistently lifting as heavy as you can, getting high volume into your, into your weight training workouts, making sure you're eating enough protein, enough fat and carbs. So if some weeks you're only working out two or three days. You could do a push-pull split where you do all pushing movements, all pulling movements, and then let lower body. And that would make sure that you hit every single muscle group for that week. If you work out five to six, you would be able to split up your workouts into more specific uh, smaller muscle groups or uh, single body part split because you're in the gym more often. But the best if you're looking to build muscle is to get into the gym a minimum of five days a week. So really try to try to do that if you can. I am just starting out with weight training. Is it okay to work out every day for an hour or should I have a day of rest in between? I have tried a day of rest in between and I just feel nothing. Should I maybe increase my weights? I'm just unsure of the routine I should be having and I so want to do this. If you're just starting out with weight training, it's totally fine to do an hour of working out every day. I would do one day of rest. I typically like to do either a Saturday or Sunday off completely where I don't do any weight training, I don't do any cardio, I just let my body rest and recover. But if you're working out every day for an hour, um, you'd be totally fine. And the last question I have is, I started eating battle better to lose weight. I stopped eating big meals. I have four to five small meals a day. I watch my calories and I also do some small exercise videos each day. It's been one week and I lost zero weight. I went from eating junk and lots of it to eating veggies and fish and small amounts and nothing. Why? Don't be discouraged. You are just starting. In a week, there isn't a whole lot of change that can happen at all. If you lose weight, it's usually a little bit of water weight or... Um, yeah, it's usually just water weight at first. The body fat will come off if you're consistent. And be careful, even if you're eating healthy, you could be eating too much healthy, so your calories could still be too high. 
track what you're eating and that's really the only way you're going to know if you're eating enough, if you're not eating enough, if you're in a, a good range, you have good energy, you'll be able to know uh, how, how many grams of carbs, fats, and proteins that you're taking in through the day. I'm glad that you started eating better. I think that's a huge step and if you don't give up, just because the scale didn't change, think about the other things that are changing. You're getting more energy. You're making your heart stronger. You're going to be able to get stronger in the gym with weight. Uh, you're you're going to decrease your risk for heart disease and high cholesterol and high blood pressure and you're going to feel better about yourself and your clothes are going to fit better and you're going to look in your in the mirror and be happy with what you see like there's a lot more than just the number on the scale so don't let that dictate your progress some weeks you may not see any change but that doesn't mean that your body composition isn't changing that you're still not losing body fat and gaining lean muscle so just stay positive stay consistent um, don't give up it's only been a very short period of time, so don't throw in the towel just yet. But, all right, guys, those are my questions for this week. Until next week, keep asking your questions on the Fitness Our Actual Women Facebook page, and I'll be back here every Friday to answer them for you. Until then, keep living the fit life.